You're watching 10 Tampa Bay. Tonight, the city of Lakeland is thinking about getting into the fertilizer business and using tons of human waste that it already collects to do that. Yes, commissioners just voted to spend $120,000 on a six-month study to see if it's worth building a composting facility. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser explaining the plan to turn waste into profit. Lakeland City Commissioners are taking the phrase waste not want not to a whole new level. Would all those in favor signify by saying aye? Aye. The board recently voted unanimously to hire Tampa-based Geosyntech consultants to perform a six-month study and whether it's worth building a $20 million composting plant to turn human waste into valuable fertilizer. The analysis will include a cost-benefit evaluation, taking into account the initial setup costs. The facility would combine human waste, or biosolids, with yard waste, creating a nutrient-rich soil mix. Lakeland produces about 230 tons of biosolids each month. Some of it is already being used for low-grade fertilizer. You know, our, our process for processing the biosolids, you know, meets all required regulations before this is ever, you know, put into the composting process. Still, the rest, and tons of it, has to be hauled to the local landfill at taxpayer expense. The idea is to waste less waste by making the poop profitable, all without creating too much of a stink in the surrounding community. With it being right there, so close to our neighborhood, I'm just really concerned about worse smells if possible and longer amounts of time especially longer city workers were already visiting similar composting facilities around the state to see what their experience has been there's one down in fort myers we went down there and toured it and it was pretty impressive as a part of this assignment we're going to view one over in hillsborough county they have one as well if they ultimately decide to move forward with the project lakeland says it would consider working with other municipalities that might be interested in creating a partnership. In Lakeland, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Huh. Tonight, the city of Lakeland says it will also look into whether federal or state funding might be available to offset expenses if they choose to move forward.